Ciao Tesla people, uh, we'll do the supercharger talk number 26, I'm at the supercharger here in Florence, let's get charging first, open to charge, okay, let's see how it goes here, that's this guy, still blue, Come on. I don't understand why it takes a second. Oh, that's it. Let's see how it's charging. I'm at 22%, so should be uh, 70, 100, 126, 144, 146. Okay, so um, this charger again are 150 kilowatts. I, I parked by skipping one stall so that if somebody stays in the middle, it's okay. If it comes close or the, to me or to the other guy, they will split the charge speed. Hopefully nobody comes. Um, anyway, so we'll do the supercharge talk number 26. There's uh, some uh, uh, news in the Tesla world, okay, so, first of all, uh, it, there are going to be a new uh, Tesla update, that is the 2024.32.3, there are several new features, uh, some are uh, still in doubt, so we'll see how it goes in the coming days, okay. Uh, I'll check out uh, uh, the news on the internet to see if there are any uh, uh, new features that are, uh, that are available and that they're 100% uh, uh, sure, okay? And sometimes uh, they said that there is a new feature and then there isn't. Okay, now FSD is coming uh, to Europe in the first quarter of 2025. We don't know yet if it's in January, February or March. So this is going to be interesting and exciting to see if uh, we'll, we'll have the chance to test it uh, for one month uh, as a free trial like they did in the US some time ago. Uh, hopefully they do it. Um, you know, we want to test it first. Um, the other thing is that uh, there was a video some time ago, maybe last week, of a Model 3 here in Italy with the Intel hardware that was driving on FSD. We don't know how it happened, uh, if it's a FSD beta, uh, which which uh, version of FSD, it looked like the one of the um, latest ones, but we don't know yet. I watched the video and there were some things that um, were a bit uh, odd. For example, we're going around uh, through a roundabout without waiting for other cars, and it was uh, it felt uh, a bit too fast. Uh, but of course, when when you're watching a video, uh, it doesn't you don't feel uh, the real uh, uh, behavior of the car. Uh, there were other car, there were no other cars coming, so maybe it just went through. I don't know. Usually you have to not stop but hold, you know, you have to slow down and then go. Uh, but this just went through, so. And then the other things that were shown in the video were pretty cool, you know. It was driving itself, which, and there were three guys and commenting and they were funny because at a certain point, they were, if you buy another EV, you're kind of stupid. <laughs> Look at this FSD driving itself, Tesla driving itself, it's funny. Anyway, and then there was uh, another uh, news about uh, the Tesla Semi truck production started, which is pretty cool. This is a big deal because there's a lot of uh, need for electric uh, uh, truck, big truck. Um, and then there was a, a tweet from someone uh, showcasing the serial number of their Cybertruck and they figure out that their subway truck was uh, the number 32,750. 
which means that the Tesla produced uh, 32,750. 32, and some other comments said uh, that look like uh, looks like that uh, the Cybertruck production is in, on track to uh, make it 50k by the end of the year, which uh, is uh, interesting. And then last news, uh, there was a several uh, information about uh, uh, Tesla uh, patenting wireless charging. Uh, which is uh, not not really a news because uh, um, some cup no two or three years ago maybe a bit more Tesla bought a wireless charging uh, company so uh, most likely they kept the the um, intellectual properties and you know all the patents and stuff so looks like that that development is going on. Um, and one thing, and so they, they file for patent, which means they most likely will produce wireless charging. There, there is a picture too um, from Tesla of showcasing a power wall connected to a pad that is under uh, a Tesla in the back, inside a garage, okay? So uh, that is going to be interesting because, as I mentioned many times before, some people didn't agree, but that's okay. Uh, cyber, uh, cyber cab or robotaxi, it needs to have a wireless charging because if the car drives itself, uh, depending on the business model that they're produced, uh, you don't want to, beside cleaning and doesn't have maintenance, you don't want to have someone, uh, you know, going, the cyber truck, the cyber cab or the robotaxi should not come back to, to, to the you know to the business where where it's working on uh, to charge, but it could be to a supercharger somewhere, and there is nobody that's going to plug the the cable, okay? So it, it doesn't make sense to go back to to home of this <laughs> robot taxi to charge because you're wasting time and charging and you know that's that's the whole point. Uh, so. It makes sense to have uh, wireless charging even at the superchargers, okay? So we'll see how it goes. Uh, my my take is that in, in the future, wireless charging will be uh, the the way EVs uh, will charge uh, in most places uh, in the public, and you know probably even at home, because it, it makes sense. You drive, you park you know you you fit the car in in the right spot or whatever and uh, it just charge you don't have to get out cables and stuff which means uh, you save a lot of uh you know uh of uh, um, infrastructure it's different of course uh, some people don't know but wireless charging has a, a an efficiency uh, of around 95 percent even more because the technology is uh, um, in, improved a lot in the uh, past years, so it's very competitive with the with the cable charging, which which uh, lose up to ten percent in uh, mostly it's heat in this in electrical uh, and power dispersion. Okay, so wireless charging is a great. Uh, uh, new solution we'll see how it's going to be implemented uh the picture looks like uh like everybody think and you know there is a charger whatever is a supercharger and stuff and there is a pad and you just park on it and that's it and you charge we'll see how it goes and i'll, I'll keep you posted in the coming days if there are any more news and then the october 10th there is the um Robo taxi or cybercab uh, event, so we'll see, we'll know more. It's uh, it's almost a month, so uh, yeah, less than a month away. So we'll see uh, and uh, we'll know more details. Anyway, I'm still charging 125 kilowatts. I'm at 46 percent and charging to 80 percent. Uh, 30 minutes remaining, and uh, I'll see you in a bit when I when I'm done. So I'm done charging, I charge to 85 because I'm doing some road tripping. Unlock the door and unplug and I'm done. Fantastic. 
let's see how much I charged charged I pay 25 almost 25 euros and it doesn't say how much I charge I think it was more than 40 kilowatts anyway um, please subscribe to the channel put a like turn on notification and I'll see you on next video ciao to people